So hi everybody and welcome to my channel. So today we're gonna to show you how to go ahead and back up your files on your Fire Stick before doing a factory reset. So stay tuned, I'll show you how to do it. It's time for streaming. So hi everybody and thank you for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Today I'm working on the Fire Stick 4K. And if you're looking for a new Fire Stick, check out my description down below. I have some links for Fire Sticks. Click on it, no extra cost to you. Small commission to me and it does help out bringing videos for you to watch. So here we are, like I say, we're on the Fire Stick 4K. And what we're going to do is back up our files. So that way we could go ahead, factory reset our Fire Stick and then add our files back on to the Fire Stick again. The one thing that you definitely do need is an OTG cable. I'll leave a link in my description down below so that way you could go ahead and click on it and purchase one. The OTG cable, one end goes ahead and it plugs into your Fire Stick. The other end you plug the power into and then the other end of it is the USB where you plug in your flash drive. So once you get it all connected and hooked up, Let's go ahead over to the left to find down to search. What you want to get now is a program called Explorer. Go ahead and type in X B. And here it is right here. It's called Explorer. Go ahead and click on it. I'm gonna need apps and games. Explore. Click on it again. Give it a few seconds. Download it. Let it download, install, and then we'll open it up. So now that it's here, let's wait a minute. Let's not open it up right away. Let's go ahead and click on that home button on our remote. Let's go all the way over to the right to where the gear is. Let's go down to where it says My Fire TV. Go ahead and click on it. And then what you want to do is go ahead and click on About and then go down to Storage. Once you're in the storage, go ahead and take your USB drive and go ahead and connect it to the OGT cable. Once it's connected, you're going to get a message to say format USB drive. Go ahead, move over to the left, click it, click it again, and let it go ahead and format. After it's done formatting, we'll go ahead now and we'll start moving our files. Click on that home button on your remote. Let's go over to the box with the three squares and the plus signs. Go ahead and click on it. Go down to the bottom where Explore is. Let's go ahead and open it up now. Click allow, give it a few seconds. On the right hand side, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna look for our USB drive. So as you can see, there's two USB drives listed. They're both the same drives, just the one on the left is where we're gonna go ahead and get our folders. And the one on the right is where we're going to put everything. So what you want to do now is go ahead, just make sure that the USB drive on the right hand side is highlighted and hold down on that enter button on your remote. Then scroll down to where it says new folder. Go ahead and click on it. Click on it again. So this way you go ahead and you can type something in. I'm just going to name it apps. And then go ahead and click on next. Go ahead, click allow if you get that message. And right here you see that it made a subfolder and it's called apps. So once you click allow and you got where it says apps, let's go ahead, let's go over to the left hand side. Let's go down to where it says app manager. Go ahead and click on app manager. Go down to where it says installed and go ahead and click on it. Here you're gonna see all your apps that you have installed on your Fire Stick. So now if you want, if you want all those apps that are in underneath installed, you could go ahead and individually highlight them and move them. Or we just go ahead and we can take the whole installed folder and copy it. Let's go ahead and do that. To do that, make sure that the installed folder is highlighted. Go ahead, hold down that enter button on your remote. Go down to where it says copy and click on it. Right here, you want to go ahead and say, okay, click on it. 
give it a few seconds to go ahead and copy everything, then we'll come right back and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so once the screen goes ahead and it disappears, you know everything has been copied, but you want to make sure. So let's go back over to the right. Let's go down now to where it says installed. Go ahead and click on it. And here it is. Everything that was on the left hand side is now copied over onto the right hand side. So now that we went ahead and we verified that all the files from our Amazon Fire Stick 4K is now onto our USB drive where we created the folder that said apps. Let's go ahead now. Let's disconnect the Fire Stick 4K. So once you went ahead and you factory reset it, your Fire Stick, what you want to do is be on your home screen. You got it all set up already. Let's go over to the three boxes and the plus sign. Click on the plus sign. Make sure that you re-downloaded the app called Explore. Let's go ahead and open up Explore. Now on the right hand side, where you will see, I had the word apps. That's what we created. Let's go down to where it says installed. Click on installed. And here, for instance, we have Dingle TV. That's one of the apps that we moved on to the USB drive. Let's go ahead now and let's click on Dingle TV. Here you see it wants to go ahead and install it. Click on install. Give it a few seconds to install. After it's done installing, just go ahead and click on done. Now let's go ahead and click on that home button on our remote. Let's go back over to where the three squares and a plus sign is. Let's click on it. Let's go back down. And here it is, Dingo TV. So now you moved it from the USB drive onto the Fire Stick that you just factory restored. You can do this for all the apps that you need to do. I hope this helps you out a lot. I hope you find it very entertaining and helpful. Please leave your comments down below. Click on that like and subscribe button, ring that bell. And remember, day or night, it's time for streaming.